Hello everybody, this is uh, Bonkers1246. Uh, just got a kind of kind of a product review for what I just got in the, one of the, char the RCBS's new uh, product line, the Charge Master Lite. Um, just got this actually in today. Um, bought it off of Midway. Um, I think it was around like 209 bucks or 199 or something like that. So um, it's apparently now the kind of the the lighter, smaller, more compact version of the uh, original Charge Master 1500. Um, just kind of actually broke it out today and loaded up a few rounds with it and it actually worked pretty good. Um, so just kind of going to go over kind of what it all entails and and uh, you know how to get set up and working properly. It, for me it worked actually really good so uh, here it is. I'm um, just zooming on the specs here. Nah. Read through them and you guys can read them as well. Um, pretty much the same specs as the 1500. Kind of all this kind of same shit. Um, it just like like I said, just you know, obviously it looks smaller, looks smaller. Same uh, same type of screen. Everything's good on there. Um, dial all that stuff in. It's pretty simple to do. Um, so there you go. It's actually uh, pretty cool. But uh, I get over actually how to work it. And actually for me it worked out pretty well. Um, setting up the big thing in, in the instructions is when it says the 20 minute warm up period. I know reading a couple, a lot of reviews on um, you know the one star, two star, three star reviews on Midway and on Brownells about the original um, RCBS Charge Master. The people are saying that you know it, it fluctuates with with the temperature and all that stuff, and um, and also they weren't. Uh, allowing for the 20 minute uh, warm up period. Well, um, I'll tell you right now, this thing works perfectly if you do everything as far as the book says. Um, so, kind of getting started to actually, when you first get it out of the box, uh, right now I have it loaded up with the 4350 IMR because I was loading some 65 Creedmoor rounds. Um, but getting out of the box, it, you know, it works straight, at, it works pretty much, you know, you're pretty much good to go right out of the box and kind of read the instructions. but um, works just like the the Charge Master. Never actually owned that original Charge Master, but mm -hmm. and the uh, um, the uh, instructions are pretty self-explanatory. Um, what you do, you plug it in, and right now I've been, I've had it warmed up for um, about 30, 30, 40 minutes right now. But to actually operate it, um, yeah, you got to wait that 20 minutes. Let all the electronics warm up. You got two 50 gram weights on. Uh, they're there as long as with a uh, little brush to wipe the powder off and all that stuff. Um, on there you got your your pan, your uh, windshield, your scales and all that stuff is is uh, all kind of incorporated into it. And there's your uh, quick dump powder um, shoot right there. So it's pretty actually easy to set up. You just um, as soon as you get out of the box, let, let, let your 20 minute wait and uh, I'll go through actually how to, how to set this thing up. As soon as you as soon as soon you warm it up and everything's good, you actually take the pan off of there. So what you'll do is this. Take your windshield off. Actually take your pan off as well so everything's clear. Make sure you keep everything clean. And you want to calibrate this thing. Uh, um, the, the instructions say if, you, if it's been shut off for more than 30 minutes, you need to recalibrate it. So I'm just going to go ahead and calibrate it. actually takes not that long. Um, you'll also see right here, I can't show you. This is, camera's running out of battery, so I got you. I'm limited to my uh, cord here. I'm going to try to get on so you can see it. Um, right here, some people fail to see this or... Maybe they don't have it, like I said, on the, on the actual Charge Master. But right there, is, you see a, a bubble, um, a kind of a bubble leveler. You make sure just, you can actually adjust it right there. There's little, there's little uh, legs that adjust like that. You can actually adjust, adjust them back and forth and get the actual, get the perfect level um, so that it'll stabilize correctly. But, let me back you back out here. There you go. I'll set you back a little bit. And about right there. I'm probably going to be in the way, but there you go. So you can kind of see it. So, 
you got it on, obviously you just push the on button that pops on. It'll count down from nine down to nine 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 down to you know down to one. Uh, once it says you you got some words up on there, some uh, what do you call it uh, the tensions here that look kind of the, the labels are stable uh, over under auto and yes you you'll know, default to grains. You can actually change that in the settings if you want to. Some other um, buttons on there: zero mode, units, trickle, and cancel. Um, so to go back to zero in it. So you got your two weights here. What you'll do is go to hit the cow button. It'll pop up with a C and a zero, and then the instructions say to wait until you got that, and this says stable. Good to go. You hit cow again. It'll prompt you the C with the 50, and you make sure you have your stable there. What you do, you take one of your weights and kind of split the difference on your scale. Once you get that on there, once you put it on there, and wait for the stable to come back up, hit the cow. And it'll come up with this says, okay, C100. So you put your other 50 gram on there. For those of you that the, you know, know basic math, you know that adds up to 100. It says this stable again, good to go. Hit your cow. Now it says 100 grams stable. Everything's good to go. You hit the cow one last time. Cool. Should default back to zero. Yeah, you'll be good to go. So put your weights back. After that, you can put your pan on. And mine's about. 83.5, 83.6 grains. After you got that on, come over, hit your zero. Boom, you're zeroed out. Good to go. So um, it comes with a nice little um, dispenser cap. And like I said, I'd, I'd already been loading today, and it worked out perfectly fine. Um, so you got that at zero. Everything's good to go. And it, like I said, automatically defaults back to grains. So um, I'm loading 42.2 grains um, of IMR4350 because you know H4350 is pretty much extinct now. Um, so everything's good to go. So after you got that tucked in, it says we're going to do 42.2. So 42, it's all touch screen, 0.2, good to go. And then you hit go. Um, it dispenses decently fast. Like I said, I don't really know. I'm not. This is the first auto dispenser loader they've ever owned, so not one to uh, to uh, you know be the expert on how half, how fast these go go. Um, the YouTuber uh, 8541 Tactical um, likes to do a. It's good to go. Um, he likes to do put a straw in there. I guess it makes it more accurate. It makes it makes it faster. But uh, um, I'm more 4350. You can see right now that it popped up one. One tenth, one tenth of a grain over. Um, on this one, just because I, I think I fucking knocked it or something. But uh, dispense it, and if you didn't see that over there, it popped up with some numbers. A C zero zero one, so basically it stands for cartridge one, and it'll actually keep track of how many cartridges you do in a set. Um, if you, if you need to change your weight or anything like that, um, say you need to change your weight. So you need to change your weight um, for you know, mid loading, or you change it to, to, to a different cartridge, or or whatever. Um, all you gotta do is hit is hit uh, cancel. But let me show you something here real quick. Once you put that back on here, once it zeroes itself out and hits stable, it'll all make you go to the next one. Now you can change that to where um, it doesn't automatically dispense if you want. So. You can do that. Like I said, if you want to, if you want to stop everything mid mid uh, um, mid pour, you can hit just cancel. It'll cancel it. It'll stop the trickler, uh, and it won't go. It won't go again. So it's everything canceled. So I, I canceled it. Um, that once you hit cancel, it'll also stop your cartridge uh, count. So your cartridge count will go back to zero. So. Um, that's how the auto dispenser goes. It automatically defaults to auto. Um, so if you don't want to go to auto, you go into the uh, the uh, mode. And you'll change that from from auto to uh, to uh, um, basically semi-auto. 
in which case once it zeroes itself out you'll actually have to hit the green go button again to, to dispense it but um, I like the auto feature just because you don't have to worry about it just set it on there zero itself out and then it'll, it'll once it'll go um, but it has a manual trickle button so if you want to for some reason um, well say you're you dump all the powder out of there and you want to you want to clean the uh, the pipe out so you can just hold on the button trickles the bottom right just hold on it and it'll go about half speed so it'll go really slow so this is if you want to get really you know minute want to say you're loading pistol powder or something like that you want to go just five or six grains then you hit that you can manually press that uh, trickle button and it'll dump it out there for you so that's a pretty cool feature there I guess um, uh, yeah so that's pretty much it I mean it's a pretty good I've had any problems with it um, IMR 4350 I found is is a little more chunkier a little little fatter so if it if it when it slows down try to you know it uh, trickles down to getting those uh, tenths of a grain um, increments down there it'll you might kick out a few few big ones in there and it'll it'll, it'll go over but um, you, just, you can just pull them out or whatever uh, it does a pretty good job I think I only had out of out of the 30 rounds I loaded I had I think one or two that went over by by tenth of a grain um, before I was loading Varget and Varget's you know a little, little better consistency a little smaller um, kernels in it. it I didn't have a single one I loaded 50 rounds of 308 and didn't have any issues there so um, yeah so that's the uh, that's the new Charge Master Lite um, nice little compact if you want to actually uh, see some guys buy two or three of these things um, it's not overly fast I'm um, actually you know loading them one at a time and once you get once you get uh, one on the uh, scale charging you can actually you know um, seat the bullet I, I just run a single or a single stage just a single stage regular Lee uh, not too fancy but uh, yeah it's a pretty good little uh, pretty good little tool makes things go a little bit faster um, and for those of you wondering if it's actually accurate I have a uh, uh, what I uh, have been loading with um, I'm not a a, uh, a mass quantity reloader um, usually, usually loading batches of 50 or 100 or so but just I used to get really bored you know doing it by hand I have a, uh, a beam scale so that's the first thing I did uh, the first 20 rounds every fifth round I, t I took the um, the pan off and dumped it into the uh, to measure the same weight on the beam scale and it was exactly on so um, one thing of note that you have to pay, kind of pay attention to is you know, even say in the uh, in the instructions make sure you don't have any and that kind of goes to common sense too make sure you don't have any you know your fan blowing on there or um, you got like a draft coming through so if you're it's not ideal if you want to do it in a garage it's probably not very good to do or your cell phone um, cell phone or any kind of electronics I'm pretty sure this camera right now is uh, is messing with it a little bit, but um, I mean it works really good. I would I would give it you know I would give it probably a 4.7 out of 5 just because I think it's a little bit slower than I than I would uh, would like. I'd like to get a little bit faster, but I'm not going to bitch too much about it. Um, yeah, pretty good. So uh, nice little compact tool. Um, don't run your cell phone. Don't run your video camera. You know, um, keep your kids from from stomping around all over the place and, and jiggling the scale and you, you should be good to go so um, got any questions or comments um, put them down in the comment section below um, and uh, you see my AC just kicked on so I wasn't prepared I didn't turn it off so that's kind of my bad but anyway um, hope you liked the video didn't, uh, it's kind of long drawn out but so far I give the uh, Charge Master Lite A plus alright thanks